The California Reparations Task Force deadline is coming up on July 1st, and some activists are denouncing the proposed payment of $223,200 per descendant of slaves in the state of California, a non-slave state. We're going to jump into this update in just one second. You guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please make sure you take a few moments to go sign up over at my locals community, jamesclue.locals.com. It is free with the option of contributing monthly, and we need more members over there. Whether you're paid or free, we need more. We just broke past 300 uh, followers on the community. Let's get that up to 500. Go sign up today, jamesclue.locals.com. Let's jump into this. So, we have an article from Fox News. Activists at California Slavery Reparations Meeting denounces proposed payment of $223,000. Not enough. It's actually technically $223,200 that they uh, proposed. And we, uh, we, we got to talk about this guy. I did try my best to find the video of him because this is a YouTube screenshot. I think they took this video down to prevent people like me from talking about it because I, I couldn't find it anywhere. Let's jump into this. So we have... California's Reparations Task Force met again on Friday in San Diego with public comment from speakers who urged bold action for the state to go forward with payments to African Americans as repayment for slavery. After comments by Dr. Shirley Weber, California Secretary of State, one speaker blasted the suggested amount of $223,000 per resident as insufficient. It's not enough. It's not enough. Reverend Tony Pierce came to the microphone and slammed the idea of limited limiting the cash payment payment to California residents. Yeah, why limit it? Why limit it? Why not? Why not 20 million? <laughs> I, I guess I'm not shocked that the argument now is let's get that number as high as possible. Let's let's just just milk them for everything they got. Quote. There should be no residency requirements for California. We have to encourage people to come back to California. What better way to encourage people to come back to California if we have no requirements? I love this, this world that they live in. If they do go through with this, for all of my, my black viewers, um, we got we to gotta work out a way for you to, you to come over here and collect that payment. I'm just kidding. That, that might be fraud. Definitely email me. Um, but <laughs> it, it, this is, um, obviously, I mean, the, the idea of the reparations payment alone is just absurd, but now they're just like, we'll just open it up to the entire United States. We can afford it. How will reparations be paid? He added immediately. Um, I love the enthusiasm. I wish we could find the video. I, I really did try to find this video. I, I believe that they took it down for reasons such as I just described. The, you know, people are just making a fool out of themselves. They want to just not draw any attention to it because the the idea of of the reparations committee alone is is um, just absurd. After being told that his time is up, Pierce yelled at the audience, "And two hundred thousand dollars is not enough. Two hundred twenty three thousand dollars is not enough." Here he is, right here, screaming. We even have people in the audience. <laughs> this guy's this guy's getting a kick out of this. So Reverend here is not the only person that's been expressing that they need more money. And not just more money, they need like more of everything. We have in December, they also added in the article, one attendee at the task force meeting called for $350,000 per eligible individual. You also have, you know, a handful of months, or actually, geez, I believe maybe this was early January. It feels like a handful of months ago now. San Francisco reparations panel pitches $5 million each to black residents. This is within San Francisco. Why 5 million? Why not 10? And, you know, I don't, I don't know. We, I did a video on this, what, maybe a couple months ago now, the reparations committee. And the big question that nobody's asking themselves is, will this help? Will this help? Like, not, not, we can table that it's like theft of, you know, the taxpayers and everything. We can table that. Just, just, we'll, we'll play their game for a quick second. Will it help the black community in the state of California? Will it? You know, Bro Brookings Institute had a study, I don't know, maybe a couple years back. And there's plenty of studies that reflect this, but it was how to basically 
jump up to the middle class, how to, how to not be permanently poor in the United States of America. And they found that there was three factors that you had to, you know, three rules basically that you had to live by, which is graduate high school, get a job, keep that job, and don't have a child before wedlock. It's fairly simple. However, however, you know, life isn't perfect. People make mistakes, etc. But the black community is not largely represented in those decisions. In fact, the single motherhood rate in the black community is massive. The high school uh, dropout rate is massive. Unfortunately, in a lot of these communities, it's very sad. It needs to be worked on, needs to be fixed. But, you know, these are cultural issues. A big lump sum of cash does not fix a cultural issue that communities within themselves need to work on. How is government assistance for Native Americans worked out for that community? Or if you look at uh, lottery winners, over 65, maybe 70 or so percent of lottery, lottery winners end up spending all their money or losing it all within five years or sooner. So a big lump sum of cash, you're going to end up with a bunch of Hellcats everywhere. And, you know, people aren't going to spend this money wisely because it just so happens that it's easier to spend money that's just given to you, taken from somebody else and given to you. I, I can speak for myself. My mom gives me 50 bucks when I was a kid. My mom gives me $50. I'm like looking for a reason to spend this money versus you working for it. You're no longer thinking like that. It's not just mon monopoly money. So th the entire conversation alone, everyone knows that this money is not going to be used properly, spent wisely, invested to a large extent, you know, the overwhelming majority is just going to blow it. And that's just people in general, right? That's just people. You give, you give anyone a quarter million dollars, they're probably going to misbehave with it a little bit. That's across the board. But everyone knows that. This whole thing is just an excuse to say, it's somebody else's problem. The community, the community that is, that, that is making these decisions, it's, it's somebody else's issue. And these issues can be fixed with, drum roll please, a bunch of cash. It's not going to fix the culture issue. It's not going to fix it at all. California residents and, oh, actually, you know what? Before I go on, I do want to tell a quick story on that. Um, 2020, we were in North Philadelphia at a riot. And I, you know, it was when I first, kind of around when I first started reporting on riots and this one was horrifying some of you guys might remember the video of me getting chased in north philadelphia by some looters and i was out filming looters elijah schaefer was out there a handful of other people were out there elijah ended up getting jumped you know busted his lip and um you know the whole night you're you're reporting on people looting all these mom and pop stores all these big stores whatever it may be for as far as the eye can see there's looters and all sorts of chaos happening at this riot and you know middle of the night and I'm documenting the experience because it's horrifying and the world should see it. Mainstream media was just completely ignoring these riots. They'd show up in a parking lot, take a few pictures and bounce. We would actually go in there and report on the rioting and the looting. Looting. And the next day I found, when I posted the video of me getting chased out of a store after, you know, trying to undercover film what was going on with the looting, people within the community, they either were cracking jokes or what I really found was they were saying, you know what, this isn't your community, mind your own business. I would have football players from the local high schools commenting on the post saying, ah, I could have caught him if I was there. Mind your own business, get out of our community, don't worry about it. When it comes down to what helps a community thrive, it starts with the people within the community. This, let's just say for example, North Philadelphia was getting a lump sum of cash. It would do nothing because the community is completely broken. Fixing a community starts with you. California resident and Civil Justice Association of California member Marcus Champion called for direct cash payments, tax exempt status, free college education, grants for home ownership, business grants, access to low to no business funding, and um, capital. He called for the creation of the Office of the American Freed Men Affairs to handle eligibility on reparations. 
This whole thing is just blaming everybody else for any lack of success you may feel. Give me free college. Give me, you know, grants for home ownership, tax exempt status. <laughs> look, at, look at all this stuff. Meanwhile, you have other people, you have other, you know, Americans that have struggled, that have a history of, you know, being discriminated against, all that stuff. Probably looking at this, just saying, this is, this is absurd. And Gavin Newsom, I mentioned this in the last video when we were talking about the uh, California Reparations Committee. Gavin Newsom's obviously gearing up for a 2024 presidential run. This is crucial to him showing, even if it fails, to him showing that, you know, he is, it, it, it probably will. But he is in support of this. They're just buying votes. That's all this is about. It's not about helping these communities. It's not about building long-term growth within the communities. This is about just saying, I'm going to give you guys a bunch of cash and you're going to love me. And that'll get me a bunch of votes across the nation, mind you. That'll get them a bunch of votes. Bam. It's a win-win for Gavin Newsom. All you have to do is steal from, uh, you know, California residents and give to other people that were never slaves. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Do you guys think that reparations would help on any level? Do you guys think it would actually be useful at all? Let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and hit that bell notification button so you're notified next time I post. We'll catch you guys next time.